when I say battling with it, like y'all, it was like me and BV were going head to head. When I say I tried everything, y'all, I tried everything. Everything that you can think of, I probably already tried it. And huh, I'm not gonna get emotional, y'all. <laughs> Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. Or if you are new, welcome to my channel. In today's video, as you can see by the title, I will be telling you all about my journey with BV. For those of you who do not know what BV is, BV is something called bacterial vaginosis. Now, I just want to clarify for those who do not know before you even continue watching this video if you are childish if you are an adult that is childish if you are immature and cannot you know just listen to adult things or female things stuff like that just click off this video right now because i do not have time just just click off <laughs> bacterial vaginosis tend to affect women of childbearing age activities that change the balance of Bacteria in the vagina, such as sexual intercourse or frequent douching, can increase a, person, a person's risk. BV is not any type of STD, STI, um, any type of, anything like that, any type of sexually transmitted disease, that BV is not that. BV is a lot more common than I thought. When I did find out what it was, I thought like it was only me. I felt like I was just all alone. I didn't know what was going on, y'all. But let me just give y'all a quick backstory. So, before I knew it was BV, I literally was going crazy. So I remember I was back in Germany. This was around, I think 2017. I was in Poland to be exact. I was in Poland and when I was still in the army. And I remember one day I just started noticing this odor. So I'm gonna get into like the signs and symptoms um, and everything like that. I just wanted to I just want to give y'all a quick backstory first. So I noticed this odor and I was like, you know, at first I was just like, why where is this odor coming from? So eventually I decided to I thought it was just something that I wasn't doing right. So I started, you know, um I already kept up with feminine hygiene, but at that time I started like researching like crazy y'all when i say researching like crazy i was on google i was just everywhere trying to figure out like what is going on because at that particular time i wasn't sexually active either because um my boyfriend at the time he was in a different city in germany so we didn't i think we only saw each other once or twice maybe and i noticed this older before you know i even saw him so i was just looking it up like what is this what is this and i saw you know the google when you google stuff you're gonna find all types of stuff y'all like all types of stuff so i i kind of let time go on and i just tried to like do things like i guess home remedies you would say and but you gotta remember that i was in germany so i didn't have as much like Resource, like the resources that I have that you would have in the states it wasn't as easy to come by so like let's say I needed to get something off Amazon like now you know I can get it one two days quick but from Germany it's harder to get things delivered the days just kept going on and on and the smell was not going away y'all so I was like okay I kept I kept trying to you know give it some more time I think my my period had just recently ended so i just assumed like maybe it was because of my period which that is that could be a reason why you get bv because the period can throw off your ph balance as well but after that i was like i was literally panicking because it didn't matter what i did it didn't matter how many times i took a shower it didn't matter it didn't matter what type of products i used how many times i used it didn't matter y'all that smell was not going away so I finally decided, I finally got the courage to go to the doctors and that is the very first time that I found out it was BV. And of course they ran like other tests to make sure I didn't have anything else like a UTI or yeast infection or anything like that. So that's when I found out what BV was and you know I went back to my little room area 
and I was just researching, researching, researching. I kind of just drowned myself in information about BV because I just didn't want it anymore. Like no one wants BV, no one wants to, you know, have that odor. No one wants to, some people may experience like itching and other, and other things like that. And let me get into the symptoms real quick before I continue. A couple of symptoms of BV is abnormal vaginal discharge, vaginal itching, or vaginal odor. So the only symptom that I have ever experienced with BV is the odor. Some people experience the abnormal discharge and some people ex may experience vaginal itching. I feel like it all depends on the person, you know, everybody's body is different, so they may respond to different things differently. From 2017 and really up until I would say 2021, I was battling with BV. Now, when I say battling with it, like y'all, it was like me and BV were going head to head. like. I would get it so often and of course I knew what it was because at that point you know I was like okay this is BV but it got to a point where I got it so often that like I would go to the doctors and I would I would tell them like I have BV like you don't even gotta test me for it because I already know that I have it like, that's how bad it got and of course like no one wants to have BV when you're trying to be sexually active and stuff like that, of course. So I feel like that can be like a hinder in your sexual in your sexual life. I literally was just battling with it and I was just searching and trying to find a cure for it. I was trying to find everything that I can do to get rid of it and make sure that it does not come back, y'all. So. I know people be like, oh, try this. If you go on YouTube, you might find like home remedies, how to get rid of and stuff like that. When I say I tried everything, y'all, I tried everything. Everything that you can think of, I probably already tried it. Like if you comment down below and say, oh, try this, try that, I probably already tried it. <laughs> it got to a point where I was trying anything. Like I was just... I was trying anything and I was just I was tired of it because I'm like you know I'm clean I always shower and I make sure I don't douche I make sure I do everything right and I was just like why do I keep getting it over and over again and to this day a doctor cannot tell me why me personally why I get it there's a lot of things that may hinder it like your period um semen is another thing that can make you like cause you to have it or of course like poor hygiene some people may have poor hygiene some um douching can cause you to get it what else can cause you to get it just like using the wrong products like anything can throw your ph balance off so if you are a woman and you are watching this do not be ashamed about bv do not let bv control your life because that is exactly what i did for years and years and years and years and I didn't really open up about it to anyone until like probably 2020-ish or 2021. I kind of like just kept it to myself and I would just go to the doctor and continue like complaining about it. Like how can I get rid of this? And every single doctor that I went to, they literally told me the same thing. And I was kind of just fed up at that point. So time went on time more time went on and i started i continued doing research because in my mind i'm like i have to get rid of this like i cannot live my entire life dealing with bv nobody like i said nobody wants bv <laughs> while i was doing my research i came across these Oop. i hope y'all can see it uh Okay, I hope y'all can see that, but if not, I'll just put a picture somewhere. So this is the Happy V um, Women's Daily Prebi Prebiotic Plus Probiotic. And it says it promotes vaginal and digestive health, restores flora, and balances pH. So I came across this um, a couple years ago, and y'all, I have not stopped using it since. Now, don't get me wrong, I do not use this every single day. But I use it when I feel like I may get BV. Y'all, I have not gotten BV for, I should have I should have kept count, but I'm sure it has been over a year. I gave this a try, y'all, and I kid you not, I have not gotten BV since I started using these 
pills and i know people will be like oh um you know things might not work for everybody i have recommended these pills to two people two other people in my life and this has gotten rid of their bv or it has prevented them from getting it as well so it's not just me that these work for and i'm sure there are plenty of other women out there that this has worked for but i'm telling you if you think you have bv if you if those symptoms are like something that you're experiencing or if you know that it's bv yes they are when you go to the doctors they're going to prescribe you medicine to completely get rid of the bv but what they don't tell you is that taking the medicine that they give you for bv could cause you to have another infection like a um like a yeast infection or a uti i think a yeast infection so this will help with not only bv it will help with um balancing your ph it will help with making sure you don't get bv in the first place making sure you don't get yeast infections ucs all of that when i say these products work if making this video i can save someone the stress and the trauma that i went through before i even knew what bv was i want to do that i wish i knew about this product way sooner like years ago because it would have saved me so much tears it would have saved me so much just stress overall so yeah this is the product that has helped me with bv it comes with 60 vegan capsules and i take two you're supposed to take two capsules a day i do like i said i do not take them every single day i kind of just take them when i feel like bv might come might be trying to creep its way into my body that's when i'll um i'll use it <sighs> and just to clarify i am not a doctor by any means i'm not a medical professional or anything like that i am just telling you all what worked for me and what worked for people other people that i know and it's these products right here this is the only one that i've used from happy v they ha also have a lot more other products like I know they have like a cranberry one i don't know they have a lot of different products but this is the only product that i have used from them this far i'm glad that my husband was very understanding and understanding with bv and i told him like this is what i'm dealing with and even during the whole like process like he was just always there for me and huh i'm not gonna get emotional y'all <laughs> Ooh, he is just like he was just always so supportive of it and he was just always there for me like and honestly you need someone in your life like that somebody who you can just tell anything to and they won't judge you and you know they still love you the same so it's just like i'm just i'm just always like i always just thank god for, for him um because he helped me get through a lot of a lot of things he knows that i'm the biggest cry baby there is but yeah if you have a mature partner they won't have any issues with you know your bv just be open and honest about it you will you nine times out of ten you will experience that odor it is normal to experience that if you go to the doctors you find out that it's bv of course continue well take the probiotics or whatever they take whatever medicine they give you but to prevent it from coming back also take these from happy v and i promise you you will be happy for the rest of your life <laughs> that pretty much concludes this video i just want to thank you all for allowing me to be transparent with y'all and open with y'all if you are dealing with bv like i said do not be ashamed do not get discouraged like you are not alone there are so many it is so common and there are so many women who struggle with bv every single day i'm just here to tell y'all that i don't struggle with it no more <laughs> i hope you really enjoyed it and i hope you took something from it if you are struggling with, with bv or if you think you have bv try using these products and comment down below and i really want to know if they work for you because they work for me thank you all so much for watching this video i will see you all next saturday 
bye